What's up, guys? So I was asking around the, uh, the community, figuring out what, uh, you know, what uh, opening video you'd like to see, and everybody wanted to see an Uberbox opening. So I figured I'll do that. Let's do it. Right? I have a couple ideas for videos, but all of those videos require more effort than I have the time to put in today. So that's why a nice opening video is always easy to do. So this is the Uberbox. This is the highest tier box that has ever been released, and probably will ever will be released. Um, you can get Gatherers two items in it. They are on a separate table. But um, you'll see from this kind of what the rates are. So we're opening 250. Let's get started. Let me PM them and or let me yell. But I just had to to get them prepared for for what they're about to see. So keep in mind, every single uh, box you do get a guaranteed 500 uh, or 5,000 poke points. So we'll, we'll calculate that towards the end, and also factor in how many like raid boxes or unique boxes you can end up with. So I'll put a couple of these together, and then we'll just sort of spam through. If you're unfamiliar what most things do, I'll give a rundown at the end, so if you're interested in any specific item, I'll sort of explain it. Just open. Ooh. Ooh, wow, wow. There's a lot of Elijahs. All like in a row. Getting some really good stuff. A lot of good worst 2 stuff. I don't know what the worst item is from this. Probably the prayers. Probably the prayers, I would I would think, yeah. I mean, I don't even know what those go work for nowadays. They could be more expensive nowadays, just be... Well, you can buy them from the shop. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Somebody let me know. If you know how much the prayers go for, tell me. I haven't seen many people buying or selling them lately. Back to back crackers. I need to do a crack opening video. Show the odds on, uh, on exactly... Uh, the thing with crackers is, you know, there is the six party hats, right? But there are, like, the... Um, you can get black, you can get P-hat specs... You can get... I don't think you can get Rainbow Party Hat anymore because we made it require the six party hats to make, so... I assume that's gone, but I think the P-Hat with Specs is still there, and that's one of the... Uh, one of the better ones. There was a party hat with the Santa, that combo, during one of the Christmas events, but obviously it was rare, so... <laughs> so nobody got it. I don't, I don't think anybody got it. Uh, nobody... I don't remember if anybody even got the balloons from the anniversary event. I don't know, dude. I guess I can't really make those super rare items for events because it's a limited time, and if no one gets it in that time, it's, you know, it was, it was pointless because I don't think anybody got the balloons. If you did, if you got the balloons, let me know. So, there we go. Let me make this look better. Okay, so, um, we ended up getting... I don't want to go and read these numbers out. You can see what we got. So, we got eight crackers, though. That's cool. Um, let me let me show you what the file looks like once second. So this is pretty much how it's divided. The Rapier, the Imbued Eye, the Elijah are all considered uncommon. And then the other ones are considered rare. So let me do a little number just to see how many... Um, yeah, how many how many rares we got and then how many quote-unquote uncommons we got. Okay, so there were 185 quote-unquote uncommon items and 65 quote-unquote rare items. So... The odds of getting a rare item from a Ubrox. A rare item would be God Wars 2 Plus. The only non God Wars 2 item that is considered rare is the Christmas Cracker. Um, the odds are 1 in 3. So you have a 1 in 3 chance of getting a, you know, God Wars 2 item. Otherwise, you are getting what's most likely a raid box item. So let's, uh, boom. Party. I don't know why I didn't bring all of them out. Let's get all of them. Let's just see if we can't clutch out one of the special ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Apparently, we uh, we like uh, blue and red. Apparently, those are our favorite colors. And then we also got the 5,000 pug points, which is... Oh, wow. Look how many pug points I got. Two million. Wow. So, about half of those were from this video. We got 1.25 mil pug points, which, uh, if we go to that shop, I'll show, I'll show you what you can buy. And if you're wondering what pug points are, they're, they're basically just loyalty points. It's you get them from like max or from getting 99s, you get them from mystery boxes, you get them from killing superior creatures. There's quite a few ways to get them. Trade the dude. Just doing them. So a raid box is 35k and an uber box is 45k. There's also a rare box and bonds if that fits your fancy, but we'll just stick with. Um, I don't know which box is better because it really just depends on what you're going for. That's kind of why they're the same price. And it, it really just depends on what, what's more interesting to you. So the fact that they're the same price, I'll just calculate how many of whatever which one you could get. Would be enough for 35 and a little bit extra. 
So 35 rate boxes you can add on top of that over 35 unique boxes. Or if you were stupid and weird, you go rape here. <laughs> so uh, that's uh, that's your go. If you want to see any other crazy video, obviously I have spawning rates, so I can do any shenanigan. If you if you want to see some sort of shenanigan, let me know. And um, what I like to do when I when I do those multiple hour videos where it's like, for example, I'm killing five hours of God Wars, I like to do them on a legit account because for me. It always meant more when you know that the person's keeping the items, you know what I mean? Like, if this box opening was a real one, where someone actually, like, spent the time or donated the money <laughs> to get the boxes, that would be so much cooler than, obviously, the owner spawning them just for fun, and everything's gonna get empty, you know, you know, right here, empty bank. Boom. Gone. Everything's gone. So, whenever I do those, like, multiple hour videos, I like to do them on a legit account to try to, you know, actually gain progress from the videos. But it's a lot easier to do with, like, appearing. If I wanted to, if I, you know, so if you want to do something, if you want to see a video where it's like, kill 1,000 Actinacoses, and I just peering it, let me know. Maybe not 1,000 because I'm really lazy, but, you know, let me know what you guys want to see. I want to make a lot more smaller videos, not so much, like, the ramble videos. Um, you know, it's sort of back to my roots, because if you uh, go choose a channel... Um, you're gonna have mostly like, you know, mostly update videos and, and then like talky videos. I want to get back to the roots where we had like the, um, we, what was it? With the Worth It series. I want to get like the Worth It series going up again. Cause that's not like a real series. Like not like the God War 7 scratch. There's, there is no end to the Worth It series. The Worth It series is about anything and everything. So I'd like to keep doing that. And if you have any new ideas for, like, te well, that was more so testing of gear. But, that, again, if you have any suggestions for any piece of gear you'd like. I know one that comes up a lot is the Elven Battle Axe versus the Zerosian Scythe debate. That one comes up a lot. So, um, yeah, there's there's a ton of potential videos to be made. Let me know what you guys want to see. And for the God Wars um, 2 from scratch video, ever since I pimped it out, it did actually get, like, a lot more views. So, I don't know if it just didn't come to sub boxes or came delayed or or exactly what happened, but I do know that it's been three episodes in and I haven't actually gone to God Wars 2. I promise you in the next episode we will be at God Wars 2. I, I, you, God Wars 2 is a hard goal, even on this easy private server. I, I consider Revival to be very easy, and I think most people would agree with that. But it still is going to take a, it still took, took a little bit of time to get gear, and I'm still not like crazy confident in my gear, but I think we're ready to start. So, if you're looking forward to that, I should have another video soon. I believe I have enough footage minus my actual attempt at God War 2. So, we'll, uh, we should have that out in the next couple of days. Um, the update, uh, where we just started on that last night, didn't make a crazy amount of progress. Only two things, and one of them I didn't even code. Because we spent like an hour, we spent like an hour and a half just trying to mess with the arc light And to get that working, and that, that, uh, it just didn't happen. This video's going on longer than it should because I think I spent four minutes talking about, you know, doing the actual video and then four minutes rambling. So I'm going to end the video there. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.